Well, hi, friends. Welcome to worship for September 13th, 2020. I am Chris Enoch. I'm the pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Marion in Marion Center, Pennsylvania. And I want to welcome you to our YouTube worship playlist. That being said, I, I got one query again this past week about where we are located. We're located in a town, a community, really a village. I guess it's a borough called Marion Center, Pennsylvania. We are about halfway between Indiana, Pennsylvania and a place called Punxsutawney. A lot of you may have heard about those groundhogs they have up there. They're really rotten little creatures, if you ask us. I don't know, we're about 60, 70 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. That being said, I'm just really glad you are with us today. Today we're going to start looking through a book of the Bible, which is all about a really messy church. And what we're probably going to find out is that church and people haven't changed that much in almost 2,000 years. If you're going to follow along over the next many, many weeks, I would ask you to get out your Bible sometime and read through the book of 1 Corinthians. Now today we're just going to be looking at the first 17 verses. And I'm going to be giving some background as we go along from week to week. But again, what I really want to encourage you to do is to sit down and read through the whole book if you have a chance. As a matter of fact, it, the internet tells me that if you sit down, open up your Bible, and read through it all in one sitting, you can get through in about one hour. I read that on the internet, and we all know that everything you read on the internet is true. Well, at least I'm fairly sure this little bit of information is. Also, I just would like to encourage you, if you're getting anything out of these series of videos that I've been doing since, I guess, since March, I would like to encourage you to help us out with our ministry here by giving a little bit, if you can. You can go to our website, marionpress.org, and you'll find a trusted source listed on the opening page, the Presbyterian Foundation, through which you can give if you want. Now, I say that, I do not want that done in lieu of giving to your local church. And if you don't have a local church, first of all, if you're in the Marion Center area or in Indiana or Jefferson counties, you're welcome to unite with us, to check us out. We do worship in person on Sunday mornings at 1030. But if you're not in the area, I would encourage you to find a local church to join and to support. But that being said, if you feel inclined to uh, give us a little bit of support, a little bit of giving, again, you can find access to that at our website, marionpress.org. And I've said this before, I do not like to talk about money. Stewardship is just not one of my skills, one of, one of the driving things on my mind. What is, is our worship. Let me lead you in a responsive call to worship this morning. We have gathered in and from our different places to worship this morning. How good it is to worship together in unity. We come from our different occupations, our diverse activities. How good it is to worship in unity. We come as unique individuals bound together by the cross of Christ. How good it is to worship together in unity. So let us worship our God. 